Hi, it's Jason here from Think Property Club. I just came out here at night time to show you one of our finished projects that we've done with one of our partners here. It's actually a lift and shift and um, build underneath. So what we did here is that we had an old Queenslander and I'm just gonna walk you through the project because a lot of people really enjoy this. Big glass door, straight into the entertaining area. You can see right through there, right to the pool. So this property is in the mid twos, okay, up to high threes. But what we actually did, it was just a Queenslander and we lifted it up to the old Queenslanders up there and we've actually built down. So what's really important is if you have the opportunity to lift Queenslanders, you should also get the maximum space when you go down, if, especially if you're on a slope, which is what this one was. I'm gonna walk you through a bit of a project and show you how cool it is so you can be inspired by these type of things. We've used particular things here. We've used the concrete, we've used the wooden floorboards and we've used black and then white, very white everywhere. So you've got to make sure that when you're doing high-end projects that you speak, stick to a color pattern, exactly what we've done here. Um, so you'll notice the features throughout is, is very slick, very modern. So when you first come into the house, the most important thing is the flow through the house, what you can see here. So we've got stairs going that way and then we've got stairs going up to here. Um, both of these stairs are see-through as you can see. So what that means is that as soon as you get to this part of the house, you get this beautiful open space feeling, nothing's constricted. It's very important to focus on doing that when you actually lift stuff up or you, when you have multi-levels. Don't ever restrict, restrict the space, always have it flowing through the stairs. And right now, straight from the front door, do you see how you can see the pool right there? So it's really fantastic. Now I did it at night time, so I wanna show you some really cool features here. Um, especially at night, at daytime, you don't really get to see as much as what you do at night. So this is our double car garage. Um, it's a tilt lift, full wooden door, which is pretty cool. Um, so in here you have your storage in there and then straight away when you get out of the garage you've got a bathroom there so a toilet and you've got this amazing laundry and why is it amazing is because you got some beautiful features here like the black tap where um, plenty of area here to, to store all your all, all your things like your washing machine and your dryer all can be in components there and around here this type of thing that you get with these type of builds you get these hanging racks here. So when you finish your clothes, you can actually hang them up or you clean, you can do those type of stuff. A lot of storage area here. And you go outdoor right there to, uh, uh, to the outdoor area of the property. And so that's really good for you put your dry racks and everything out there. Now, so we come from our garage. You can see the floors here, very specially done. So to make sure that there's no dust and those type of things on there, especially we don't want to get into this beautiful house. So you open up here, you come down these stairs, and then you make the choice here. Would you like to go down into the living area or would you like to go into a second type of entertainment area? This is where I say a lot of family will hang out, the kids and those type of things. And this is really a family home, as you can see here. Now over there, if you have a good look, that is um, a high set window. So well, you notice these high set windows are right to the roof line. Very important there. Um, and then we've just put a, a bench right across there to really emphasize this whole matching of the wood and the white. So that's, that's one bit there. And then all the bedrooms come off here. And then you've got another area, which is the lift up the top there. So if we look over here, there's one bedroom. And then you've got a massive walk-in wardrobe from there. Around here is your master. So as soon as you open up this area, you're going to see on the right here, a great walk-in wardrobe. And again, the black window frame there. And then this is the master bedroom. Again, with the with the, um, the the black and then with the corner done like this. I'll go walk in here a bit further so you can see here what this looks like and we can look down at our pool from there. <laughs> Huge big window space here. And then we've got the louvers here to bring that beautiful airflow through. And then these actually all crescend out and go on an angle. So during the day we can open them up to get a beautiful breeze coming through but still get the privacy. The big barn doors are really popular right now. And this is your bathroom. So over here, you have your toilet, you have an amazing shower. Have a look at that. How good is that shower? So, um, and then you've got the two mirrors here. You press a button. So we can turn them off or turn them on. And then again, that corner matching on either side. See that there? And the louvers again open up. 
And here is really cool because you see the beautiful tree in the background there and this type of space, how it's kind of being angulated, actually makes it look really cool and sexy. Then you've got the freestanding bathtub with all your accessories there. So you can have a really nice, nice cup of resort style bathroom in here. So let's move on. So through the property here now, you say, okay, there's one bedroom there. You might want to have the youngest in there so you can keep an eye on them. And then that's going to be for the master. So we've suddenly seen two bedrooms. Oh, there we go. All your air conditioning's done there. So in one panel, then everyone's mobile phone can lock into it. So now we're walking into the old Queenslander. This is what you saw from outside. So we have one bedroom here. Got the little bench in the corner there. Got a huge big wardrobe for them. That's pretty cool. And then we've got the, the, the joint bathroom here for everyone. So we had one, two bedrooms downstairs and I'm gonna show you some more. One, two, three bedrooms upstairs. So right now we've got five bedrooms in this place. Sorry if you're getting a bit dizzy. Um, let's look at this bathroom. So again, you get the same type of mirrors, the black, the wood, the, um, the concrete type of sole um, tiles down there. There's your, your, your toilet right, nice and out of the way. Similar type of glass frameless type frame there with your black tapware. This is your next bedroom. Beautiful contrast with the whites and the blacks. Um, and this might be for maybe the older child or someone that wants a bit of a view outside the front. Again, we kept that, that look of that old Queenslander look there. And then they've got their own little bathroom here. Really cute, sexy little bathroom. And then their own shower has been put throughout there. So give us some likes if you like this one. Tell us what you like about it. If you see any features, I love these. I think they're called Dorset. No, they're not called, I can't remember what they are. I like the sitting window where you sit there with a book and the light would come in. Um, so there we go. Now, massive amount of storage here because this is the office. So this is how we've utilized that space. Again, looking all the way outside there. So really beautiful old Queenslander style. And so you have all the cars down here, but um, you're gonna have a great time up here in your office. Now, let's go into the most amazing part that I feel of the house, which is going to be that downstairs, beautiful big lounge room entertaining area. You can imagine the clientele here really would love to have something that really was a standout feature. And this is exactly what you're gonna see now. Big open plan space. You see that? High set window up there, um, the fan and the air conditioning. And then it's very, very sleek, isn't it? See that? They can all open up as you'd see. So it just opens inside to out. We've got the concrete on the ground there, exposed. And, um, and what is this here? This is a feature wall. So it's, it's very, um, very crafted to this particular kitchen. Now, with these new kitchens, this is a new style. Have a look at that. So you've got the island bench. And then what you have is you have this style of hot plate. Amazing. And then you've got your two Milo cookers down there. You've got plenty of storage. So there's all your storage there. Um, but here, there's your butler's pantry. Here's your fridge. There's your fridge there. And then you have all your other storage here for everything else. So plenty of storage for literally everything that you would possibly ever need in here. And then there's your sink. This is the fashion that's happening at the moment where you don't put the sink all the way out there. You do your prep here in here. So this is where your sink is. And then this is your beautiful kitchen space out here. Again, we'll probably, you know, you'll have your TV there, whatever you selected, and matching from that to the upstairs is very important. And you can just see the airflow for this place is brilliant. You can imagine these all opening up. I'm not going to open them all up at the moment, but then you get the outdoor kitchen here. I'll let you guys take it in. Imagine jumping into that pool.
There you go. So, look, hope you've enjoyed that today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the architecture, some of the cool things that we do. That's what's really cool about being in property, is that you get the opportunity to do really cool stuff like this, hey? Who likes this place? Who's picked up some tips already? Who's, who can kind of see the unique type of simplicity? Less is more. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, got any comments or want to buy this place, but I think we've already got two offers on it, so it could already be sold. Um, but um, I hope you enjoyed these videos. Anytime that I have the finished product or we've got something to show you, I'm gonna walk through it so you can pick up some inspiration, some ideas. See you on the next one.